This is me playing GTA 5 on my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. What up? This is me playing Wolfenstein Old Blood on my Android device. And this would be me going ahead and going to play a Mortal Kombat X. Um, yes, my Android device. Let me just go ahead, pick a different suit here. Let's go with Revenant. Yes, I know you do. Let's get this. Let's go ahead and fight. It's obviously much easier if you're going to pair a controller. Um, I just currently didn't do that. But as you can see, it is possible to play your PlayStation games on your very smartphone. Hmm, should I play a little bit Sleeping Dogs now? No. Let's get into the tutorial for you guys, so you guys can do this too. It is actually very simple. All you need to do is install Remote Play from the link that I am providing down below in the description of this video. Do not install the Remote Play throughout the Play Store because that will only work for Sony devices. If you want it to work on your smartphone, like I have the Samsung right here, it also tested it on a friend's smartphone on an HTC. It worked very nice. Go ahead and scroll down until obviously you get to downloads. Go ahead and make sure you download the latest version. In this video currently right now it is the version 1.3.2. Depends on the time you're watching this video, it could even be more actual. Then tap on any of these, you will come to another link. Let me just go ahead to the top one right now, pick the very first. Just tap the download button. You will see a download will start. Wait until it's finished. So app is done downloading. Then we just tap it. Hit install. Open it. Tap to register. Then it will pop up a or should pop up a new web page. If not, just go ahead tap next. And then the web page pops up. The sign in to your PlayStation 4 user ID. Now, since I already did it, I guess I already registered that. And then you just gotta wait until it loads up with your PlayStation 4. That is pretty much as simple as it is. And by the way, guys, I also just tested that freshly. Um, not even being near at home. I was like one hour away of my home, and meaning I was pretty much far away from my PlayStation 4, I could play my games on the go as well. Isn't that sweet? Like I said, playing Mortal Kombat X, you should register a controller because like this, it can give you tough time to move up, like playing GTA 5 is pretty much a hassle playing in this throughout the interactive controller right here. But you can do everything you want with your PlayStation. And like I said, you don't even have to be at home. You can also connect via an LTE connection, meaning throughout your mobile data. I wouldn't suggest doing so. I'm not going to do so, not to waste and drain my mobile data. Um, I would suggest always, if you can, go ahead, get a wireless LAN connection some sort. That is a best and it depends on how good that connection is and can also give a glitches sometimes in your gameplay so make sure that you have a very good wireless LAN connection elsewise 
thank me for this tutorial and support me by rating this video a thumbs up and as well sharing this video with your buddies. I've done a video before how to pair the PlayStation 4 with your Android smartphone but first of all you couldn't be able to play on the go and second of all it was a bigger hassle than the how can I say the simpleness how you can install it right here all you got to do is install the APK file log into your ID and you're good to go before it was a little bit more complicated thanks guys for watching enjoy playing your PlayStation 4 games wherever and whenever at home or somewhere out in the heck I'm Brian I talk to you in the next one